Hey everyone, this is uh, Coca Cola Closet or Emily here. Sorry about the fireworks in the background. I um, obviously can't do anything about that. Um, I'll try and mute the sound out as much as possible. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing an eyelash review. Uh, that's why I'm not wearing any at the moment, just base makeup. I'm going to be doing uh, Diamond Lash Angel Eye and also Fairy Lash, very shiny eye even. There we go, shiny eye. And the packet is very shiny also. Right, okay, so. I am used to Glamorous Lash and Sweet Eye by Diamond Lash. That's my staple kind of thing as I usually use every day. Um, Angel Eye is very long. <laughs> uh, it's very dramatic. When I looked at the lashes, I was like, oh, they'll be fine, you know. So it's like, you know, it's sparse, it just goes out, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing in between, not so dense as Glamorous Lash. And then if I put them on I just think they're uh, they're perfect for the more um, extravagant gal look I changed my glues from um, Max uh, bonding glue their medical glue kind of thing that they use to Isla again but it blobs it like always separates no matter if the band is on a um, eyelash band that uh, all the eyelashes are very close together or if it's uh, kind of sparse like this okay yeah they're um, extremely full maybe I put it on too far behind but that's fine isn't it yeah I'm just saying so you can compare with my natural lashes with one coat of mascara on. It's like, yeah. It's a bit mental. <laughs> right, okay. Um, I guess for definition, I definitely give these a 5 out of 5. Um, I do like diamond lash. People say they're really shiny. I think, to be quite honest, on photos, if the way you touch them, if you've still got makeup on your hands and stuff, it kind of gets rid of that shine anyway. But I mean, obviously you can like coat eyeliner or mascara over it like a lot of people do. Um, obviously lengthening and stuff, definitely again, five out of five. Uh, you get five pairs. Um, I've heard people say that these break a bit, um, kind of like some of the bottom lashes that you get from Diamond Lash. Um, I haven't had anything break yet. This is still my first pair, as you can see. Um, I've had them for about two to three weeks now. Um, I think, yeah, it was quite tricky to get them off the pack as there was a lot of glue this time. So, I don't know. It just, yeah, it just depends really. But I do like um, the thinness of each lash. It's not too, like, drag queeny, but it is still very, very, very dramatic. So I do like that. Okay, so on to um, Sakarina's produce. <laughs> uh, for Fairy Lash Shiny Eye. This is the nice packaging, you get four pairs, there's a nice little picture of a uh, saccharina here. Um, shiny Lie is actually a bottom lash, but I kid you not, they are literally as long as um, western top lashes. They are crazily um, long, which I was really surprised at. I was like, okay, they did look dramatic in pictures, but I had no idea they'd be this long kind of thing. Um, also... Um, it's a thick band. I didn't realise this. I thought it would be a clear band, considering they are a lower lash as well. But obviously, uh, they kind of wanted to cheapen things. And um, yeah, it's like a black thick band, which basically makes it impossible to put the whole uh, trim on your eye all at once. Uh, when you do so, it kind of either goes flat towards your eye, especially if you have western eyes that are slightly obviously bulged, or um, it goes completely up, and either way you look like a complete idiot. So um, I cut mine into three segments. On either side of the three main kind of bits, there are four um, little bits here. So I cut them there in between the lines and then shortened the um, black band either side. So what I'm going to do is I shall put some on. They're all in my lovely uh, Dolly Wing eyelash case here. So I will try one eye for you so you can see the difference again. Let me just check I've got the right stuff. Okay, this is one eye. Oh, it's actually stayed together with the glue. Mmm. Okay, I should stop being lazy before I go to bed. 
right, okay, this is one eye. So we've got the first segment. I like to do the outer part first. Right, also the other thing is with this, uh, the glue is hard to put on because also the band is extremely flat and these do break. Um, usually the cheaper eyelashes that aren't like a brand that's been going for a while, like Diamond Lash, it's been going for a little bit now. Uh, tend to flake off. I've had a couple of the hairs come out. So there is my first piece. So you can see there, it's going to go on the out thing. And put this on. That's part of my eye. Make sure it's on there but it still stands out. There we go. Then the middle bit. Obviously it's the same on both sides which makes it extremely easy to apply. This was the part that kind of made me freak out about how long they were. Ha ha! You have to kind of make the glue and the eyelash kind of conform to your eye for it, uh, I've found. It's uh, kind of annoying. It doesn't really sit very well. The only problem is with this is obviously either because the bands are separated and stuff as well you can kind of see where it, um, where there's like you know a segment missing from where you've had to cut the band that's how kind of defined they are but let me just put that up a bit and then just the last bit on the inner corner of the eye um, again there's four bits this is where some of it came off but if it's on the inner part of the eye it doesn't really matter I think so you can make it blend with mascara if you want it as well <laughs> try and make that join up mm. does that look better? looks a bit better right then so obviously from like far away it looks great it looks like a normal eyelash and you're like wow she's wearing lots of mascara but um yeah it's pretty uh pretty dramatic but I do like them I really actually do like them it was either that I was going to go for the sparse ones and they kind of look like the Guri Guri lashes that um, like more of the dramatic ones that they've released um, but obviously I would love the Guri Guri lashes but you only get two pairs so I kind of bought these instead and I just I love the more dramatic uh, lower lashes that Sakarina had um, I don't know if she does them that much anymore but obviously they're still on sale so I was like definitely getting some uh, my lovely friend uh, bought them for me in Japan so thank you very much Mamie um, yeah I tried two shopping services for this so if you are looking for them and you do need a shopping service for them which you probably will so I haven't found them on any like Pinky Paradise or anything like that um, tell them that they just go to Don Quixote and um, it's in the beauty aisle and they have all the ranges there and they're 890 yen I think doesn't say roughly about 890 yen with uh, shipping though, um, I asked for EMS obviously because I needed them quickly for Expo. Um, it cost me like 20 quid for one pack, but to be quite honest, four pairs, five quid a pair over here in England, it's about the same, so I couldn't really, um, you know, complain. At least you get it all in one pack and it's a bit organised. But yeah, um, kind of for the, uh, obviously the lengthening effect of these, I give five out of five. Although uh, it can be a bit too dramatic for some, I'm not going to like wear these every day just maybe for like parties and like when I go for a more dramatic look um, when I have my tan 
I am slightly tanned still, but not that much. My hands kind of worn off, so I look, I look like a bit of a freak. Um, I was really, really dark. If um, anyone's seen pictures on my blog, she probably would have, because I'm putting this video up on my blog. I'm going to retan again. I have this. These uh, Centrope um, ripoff, which is Summer It's. You can get it in Savers and all cheap places in England. Don't know if you can get it in um, the EU, you probably can, or America either, I have no idea. But um, it's £2.99, which is extremely cheap, and I've heard good things about it. The only problem is, apparently, that people, some people have had is that it leaves too many um, speckles when you try and rub it off. But apart from that, I think, to be quite honest, I'm not really going to complain. It's uh, £2.99 as a, compared to £29.99 as Santa Fe is. So, yeah, there we go. Brilliant stuff. Well, that's my review. Um, I think uh, 3 out of 5 for the band. Um, it's thin, which is great, so it does hide underneath um, eyeliner. But um, to be quite honest, they shouldn't have used a black band, even for a more dramatic lash. I was kind of upset about that, obviously, because it's not woven onto it it's like um they just with the kind of the black band you have like two little strings and they just basically glue the lashes on top so that's why um some of it falls apart for the um shiny eye which i wasn't very pleased about um but apart from that uh yeah overall i guess four out of five uh, for saccharina it's a very nice design i do like them if you are going for the more dramatic look like i do sometimes or if you um kind of are interested in like the um kind of like what I did below in my other blog, like the AV gal look kind of thing. If you want to kind of emulate some of their kind of stuff, then by all means go and try and get some because um, they're really worth it. Or if you're out in Japan, um, it's 890 yen. Go for it. It's not that expensive. I'll check you guys later. Bye.